on. Um, I know I said I was going to do Twilight next, but um, I was determined to try and do contrasting colors. Um, <clears throat> yellow and purple are complementary colors, and of course we know Christmas, um, uh, red and uh, green are complementary colors. But orange and blue are contrasting. And um, like I said, last year I tried it and it, it just didn't work. So I, wa I wanted to give it another go. <laughs> so I've been experimenting. So here it is. What I like about the Lime Crime Orange is that it's not a bright in your face orange. Um, and it's called Cleopatra. And I don't need to put a base because I'm going to apply this with mixing medium. Here we go. So another thing I like about Cleopatra, Lime Crimes uh, Cleopatra, it has some silver sparkles in it. Now, I'm hoping that I don't get a lot of fallout. I'm not using, in fact, I forgot to put a primer on, but I did use foundation and moisturizer on my eyes. So hopefully it's enough to hold in, to hold the color. So I'm using um, Medusa, which is the blue black and I'm not even going to open up Pompadour because I keep spilling it every time I open it. And as a matter of fact, that's what I'm using now is the spill. So I'm going to mix those two colors together. And I'm using the 224 dupe because I don't want a heavy application. I've tried using my smaller crease brushes. And I am heavy-handed, and it leaves too dark of, of an application. And mixing medium really makes a heavy application. And I want this to be a little bit softer. And there you go. So what these big brushes are good for, as I've said before, is um, a softer wash of color, softer application. And then on top, which I, I might talk about today, I'm using my Pure Lux Duo Chrome. This one is um, Copper Aura. Copper Aura leaves more of an orange um, highlight. And it's a white with an orange Duo Chrome, basically. And Okay. Oh, ooh, I like that. We like. I like that better than the white gold. Okay, so I'm going to put on um, some blue eyeliner and um, blue mascara and finish my face and I'll be right back okay everyone so I'm back um, I put a dark blue um, like I did with my eyes I think that the trick to wearing these contrasting colors orange and blue is to um, wear it in the right shades and I last year I tried these bright orangey colors um, and it, it didn't work and some tangerine colors didn't work but Cleopatra worked for me um, not that I'm going to be using oranges oranges as you can see I have orange blush by the way Nyx's um, cinnamon it's called cin I don't like the way they name these colors but anyway this orange blush is called cinnamon it's not the most flattering color for me. On my lips, I have a an orangey gold color called Glam Gold. And on top of that, I put 
uh, Starlit Lips, I think it's called, because it has like glitter in it. I think people are getting the hint from MAC. <laughs> um, so I put Starlit Gloss on top, which was a gift with purchase of you by Mary Kay. Um, and then again, the trick to the blue, I was wearing bright blues. And so I was experimenting with uh, navy blues. Um, so again, I think you just have to find the right shade to combine these two colors together. So that's why I mixed the uh, blue-black, but I wasn't looking for black. So on top of that, I put the pompadour to give it what I wanted. Um, and then um, I didn't like the white gold. So I said, let me try again, pure lux, uh, copper, aura, and it's a white with a copper uh, dual chrome on it. And um, so that's what I uh, did for my makeup. I didn't um, put any highlighter on. I think because this orange is so bright and it doesn't compliment me. Um, I put the a black blue eyeliner. It's like a, it's a sapphire blue. And then on the inside I used this um, light blue. It's a matte. And I'll take pictures afterwards. And so yeah, um, there's more. I want to try some more colors with oranges. I know it's not my colors, but I just want to play around, especially during October, Halloween month. It's like nobody cares. They'll think you're going to a Halloween party. <laughs> um, isn't this cute? Uh, at the beauty supply store, the chopsticks. Oh my goodness. I suffer from really bad migraines. I'm telling you, everything went wrong after the accident. And I said, this isn't going to work, but I love purple. So I said, let me uh, try this. And ta-da! It really, really works. I don't know how. Uh, I can only imagine that the bottom part of the sticks are held against your hat and keeps it up. So, yeah, isn't that cute? And... I don't know if you noticed, but I'm not stubborn. I'm just determined. This was the first color I bought, Enrage Purple Plum, which turned my scalp blue. Then I put in, tried Jazzing Jet Grape, and that turned my scalp a more purplish blue and just made the silver come out more. And then today I tried... Purple Rage in a door. So this is Enrage. This was Jazzing. I was at the beauty supply store and I picked up a door. And um, it stuck a little more. This one's more of a pinkish purple. And it stuck a little more to my color. It still turned my scalp purple, but it stuck a little more to my silver. Hey, next month is Halloween, so I'm just going to have fun and play. <laughs> Worst comes to worst, I'll just put in my usual uh, either dark brown or deep burgundy if I have to, but I'm just having fun. So in case you guys wanted to try it, I don't think these were meant for white hair. I think it's it, the, when you bleach your hair, it makes your hair more porous and it sticks better. So, and I want to stay away from bleaching, but anyway, just in case you saw my all right, so have fun and enjoy, and I, I think I'm going to do some more orange and twilight. Okay, bye.